What's up YouTube, Jeff Beck again from DopeTechDaily.com and today I'm bringing you guys a video to follow up on my Samsung One UI coverage. First of all, a huge shout out to everybody who watched my Samsung One UI review that I posted last week. I'll drop the link below if you guys didn't get a chance to check it out yet. But over 200,000 views and I really, really appreciate the support. There were a lot of questions in the comments of that video. I think over a thousand comments. And a lot of those questions were really good ones. So I wanted to take a chance to do this question and answer follow up review to answer some of you guys questions to see what you guys want to know. So the very first question that came up a lot and as usual, I'll have a little Google Keep document here is whether or not Samsung One UI is going to come to the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy S8. And I'm happy to report that Samsung One UI and all of its glory, all the nice new redesigned Bixby, the new settings menu, dark mode, all of that cool stuff is coming to the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy S8. Now Samsung confirmed this officially. There were some rumors out there and some reports that One UI would not make its way to the Galaxy S8 and Note 8, but those are false. Samsung has officially confirmed this and those phones will get it in 2019 right after the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy Note 9. So no need to worry for all of you S8 and Note 8 users out there. The next question that a lot of people ask is when does the official beta begin for Android Pie and Samsung One UI? Now this was mentioned in the other video, but the official beta does begin for the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus starting this month. So that's actually going to start next week. It was officially confirmed today that Samsung One UI beta will be available starting on November 20th for the UK, probably other European regions and the US as well around that time. Now if you are here in the US, you'll want to make sure you have the Samsung Plus app. That's where you'll actually go in and sign up for the beta. If you're in the Europe or in the UK, you'll need the Samsung Members app. And they actually already have the splash page up there in the Samsung Members app. I'll drop the links below and mention these apps also in the pinned comment if you're interested in signing up for the official beta and testing this out on the Galaxy S9. The Galaxy Note 9 is likely not to be an official beta candidate. So if you want that, you're probably gonna have to get it uh, through the unofficial means, which I'm using right now. I did a full tutorial on that and I'll also link the XDA article below. The next question everybody wanted to know, is Samsung One UI and Android Pie faster than Android Oreo? So I actually happen to have a Galaxy Note 9 that's running Android Oreo still here. This is my Verizon variant. Um, and personally, you guys can sort of see the animations. I mean, they don't really, on camera, you're not gonna notice any huge differences in the animations, but in day-to-day -day use, I can certainly tell that One UI and Android Pie is quite a bit faster. I'm not really a guy who likes to do speed test comparisons, but I can tell you my day-to-day -day use, I can feel the additional speed. Now, one place that you can notice a little bit is when it loads Bixby Home. You can see how long it takes for Bixby Home to reload. That really never takes any time at all. And you can see the huge redesign sort of how Bixby Home looks there. Uh, things like that, navigating the UI, getting in and out of apps, all those things feel quite a bit faster on Samsung One UI, uh, in addition to all of the sort of stylistic changes that they've made. So more on that in a second. I'll talk more about the Android Oreo comparison and some of these other questions. The next question was about battery life. So battery life, this is, remember, this is an unofficial beta I'm running on the Galaxy Note 9. Battery life has been pretty good. Uh, not as good as it was on Oreo, but that's probably because there's a couple of bugs with this. My Wi-Fi actually turns off occasionally, just mysteriously. Again, this is an unreleased beta, so there's there's gonna be some bugs, and battery life is probably gonna suffer a little bit because of that. That doesn't mean that the final stable version will be that bad. I've still gotten pretty good battery life, about five hours screen on time, uh, but on this Oreo Galaxy Note 9, if I run stable Oreo, I usually get six to six and a half hours screen on time with my regular use, uh, mixed usage of LTE and Wi-Fi. So battery life's been good, but not great, and that's kind of what I would expect on an unreleased beta. The next thing is wasted space. How do I feel about all the wasted space in Samsung One UI? And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when I'm talking about wasted space. They moved all the icons down so they're easier to reach. So like here in the quick settings, all the icons are right around thumb level, but you have all this wasted space up here with the time, etc. If you go into the main settings, for instance, like in the display, if you swipe up, you've got this big text that says display and all this empty white space. Um, of course, you can also apply the night theme within display, but you still got empty black space now. Um, either way, you're gonna have all this sort of wasted space, which is a lot different than what you see on Oreo. Again, for a little quick comparison to what you'll notice on Oreo, you see that the settings menu kind of uses the full entire screen. So if you go into the display settings in here, there's no wasted space at all. They've got all the settings, takes up the entire big screen. So it doesn't bother me too much. 
I kind of think it looks clean. I do understand though people complaining that you've got all this big screen, you sold me on a big screen, why do we have wasted space? Personally, it doesn't bother me, but I do see the argument there, and it definitely is the case uh, that there's a lot more sort of white space or black space, depending on if you're using the night theme uh, in Android Pie and Samsung One UI versus the old Samsung experience running Ori. All right, so the next thing is GoodLock 2018. A lot of people were asking me, does GoodLock 2018 work on the Galaxy Note 9 running Samsung One UI? I answered this question before, the answer is no. So you can go into QuickStar, you can choose a theme and you can apply it. You can see I actually have a theme applied right there. And if you go to the quick settings, the theme will not apply. So good luck does not work on Samsung One UI yet. That doesn't mean there won't be a version of good luck that works eventually with Android Pie and One UI. I know a lot of people like good luck. I like it too. But right now you can't use it to color any of the settings. You can't use it to make changes to the lock screen. Uh, any of those cool things that you can do with good luck. So I know that's a real downside, but that doesn't mean there won't be a 2019 version that works with Android Pie later. Um, one thing that that definitely does mean is that when it comes to customizing sort of the overall Samsung One UI at all, which was actually the other question that I wanted to address, custom themes, custom themes do not work at all natively from the Samsung theme store. So if you long press, you go down to themes here, You'll notice that here it says beta services may not be as reliable or available uh, as other services. And you can see you can't choose any of the themes. The themes are grayed out. So you cannot apply any Samsung themes from the Samsung theme store. No icon packs. You can see all of these are grayed out. I can't select anything but the default pack. The only thing I can change is my wallpaper. You can see I can go into the gallery and change my wallpaper right there, which is great. But you can't change any of these other things. No always on display. And I know that's a lot of people are worried about that, asking questions. Uh, probably there's going to be a way to do theming. We have to assume eventually, because this is an unreleased beta, don't expect it, everything to be there at the beginning. What I would like to see eventually is have the ability to customize sort of the how the icon colors look here. They're blue by default, kind of like on Oxygen OS, which of course you can also do with GoodLock 2018. And that's certainly something I'd like to see Samsung add in the display settings. Hopefully they will, or at least give us the ability to go back and do theming. Uh, the last thing that someone asked was also a theming question, which was a good one, and that is, can you use Substratum and Sungstromata? Well, my friend Max Weinbach at XDA, he actually already addressed this in an article, but I will mention, you can use Substratum with Sungstromata mode. So if you go into Substratum and you also have the appropriate apps installed, you can apply themes from within Sungstromata. The problem is, that because this is not updated, all the themes in the Play Store, they're not updated to work with Android Pie, they also don't theme the quick settings. So even if you apply a theme, the only thing it will theme is some of your Google apps, Twitter, etc., things like that. So you can actually use Substratum without root um, using Sungstromata mode on Android Pie running Samsung One UI. Now, will that last into the stable version? Who knows? That'd be cool if it did, and then a lot of people will update these themes, and then that gives you a theming option right there. Doesn't even really matter what Samsung does, because then you can take it into your own hands. The last thing I want to mention is that uh, one thing that a lot of people mentioned in the comments was that I commented that I don't like the way the gestures work, because I don't like having to reach all the way over here if I'm using the phone left-handed. I want to clarify that I am a right-handed user, but occasionally I need to use my phone in my left hand. Maybe I'm writing and I'm transcribing something, etc. Uh, the reason I don't like that is because, if you remember, back in GoodLock 2018, there's actually a really nice one-handed operation mode where you can place the back button on both sides. So you can have yourself swipe back from the left or the right. So you can actually swipe here and it goes back, or swipe over here and it goes back. So I can go back from either side. Uh, and I really like that because then no matter which way you use your hand, you don't have to worry about it. Now, of course, if you're a left-handed user, you can go into the display settings and change the order of the gestures here on Samsung One UI just by changing the nav order. However, if you occasionally use your phone left-handed, even if you're predominantly a righty, that's not really going to be great. I don't know why Samsung didn't implement uh, the gestures that they have here on Samsung's uh, GoodLock 2018 one-handed gesture app. It's actually a lot better than what's in the One UI navigation right now in my personal opinion anyway. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll be happy to answer more questions if you guys have them in the comments below. Also find me at Twitter, Instagram, Google+, the link's in the description. If you guys wanna see future videos like this, hit the notification icon below. Appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.